I was in that talk and um, and I was just horrified because I was like, just to like, you know, be, just to be a part of all of it. And um, I just feel like uh, as far as solutions, um, we whoever it may be, like 3HO or Sikh Dharma or whatever, I feel like we need to be calling them every day, mm -hmm. like multiple people, and be like, this is not okay. Like, we do not want to be a part of this. Like, just because what everyone else said, you know, like, I, I've heard that argument about, oh, they're, they're, someone said they're keeping people safe and there's, they've prevented so many things from happening. And it's like, no, that's bullshit to me. Like, we, we can't be involved in any way. This, this is yeah. terrible. Yeah, just it's because terrible. they have a perspective, you can call bullshit on bullshit. Yeah. It's bullshit. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. just they have their own justifications. You know, that doesn't make it right or it, that. You know, the, the same. You know, the same right. at all. So. Yeah, and it's like, and then I've heard that, and I don't know what is true and what's not true, but I've heard that there there's a call at at the border at the border camps. So it's like. How do we I, know? I can tell you from the, my meeting in person meeting with Simran Singh, um, he said that they're actively searching for more contracts. So they're trying to increase the number of prisons that they are um, contracting with. So this is this is this is a big money maker. So they're seeing that money. they're looking at that. And so he, I mean, he told me straight up, I'm, we're looking for more contracts because. We, we think what we're doing is, is good work and we're going to treat them better and we're providing all these amenities for these prisoners and I'm like, okay, it, it, it just blows my mind. But anyway, I feel like one of the things we can take is maybe uh, peaceful protesting or maybe not so peaceful, I don't know, whatever, but like maybe at the next White Tantra Yoga yeah. here in Los Angeles, like we, maybe we yeah. can get a coalition of folks where we're protesting, maybe having signs or talking yeah. to folks, like whatever event that is coming up, even if Nomfest is not profiting, we can still go to these Absolutely. events and we can still talk to folks. Yes, because for sure. these senior teachers, they have clout. They're, they're making money off of training still. They're making money off of, trainings are a big business, three, $4,000 a person. I've done two of them. And so I know how much money they're making. So these teachers cannot act like they're not involved you know there so anyway that's one suggestion is having some kind of Absolutely. protest at some the next events that are happening in Los Angeles or maybe for folks anywhere around the world I know there's a teacher in New York that was protesting at the white tantric yoga in New York City that's coming up so um, yeah maybe making a list of the different teachers who are silent on this as well and putting that well that's that's everyone that's everyone everyone, that's everyone. 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 Yeah. yeah everyone there's is not been one senior teacher no. to speak out publicly yeah. and no. call this out specifically no. and you know and to that I you know and I and I I did initially choose to walk away silently I put my post up on Facebook telling why um, mm -hmm. I didn't wasn't completely silent I did say why um, but at the same time, you know, I did, I did think to myself, why am I feeling hesitant to speak? Mm -hmm. And if that's how I'm feeling, what does that say about the community? Right. right. Yeah. Um, so there's I, definitely a problem in our community, not, I mean, definitely a problem with diversity, but really a problem with inclusion. Mm -hmm. Because for example, at the Calsa council meeting, the voices of those most affected the the people there were only a few people there from south of our border south of the u.s border um, but they were clearly visibly emotional while i was presenting and very very distressed and upset and the comments and the discussion overwhelmingly drowned them out i mean they didn't a lot of them didn't even speak and why would they because of what they were hearing mm -hmm. So I think we have to really, especially if you're not a person of color in this community, it is time to really start thinking about what, how, you're, how you are receiving and embracing and accepting others, that you, people that you think are others. Again, that's our sadhana, recognize the other person as you, is our sadhana, you know, because there is no difference and you've got to get into yourself. Like I said about me understanding that it was my white privilege that made it so inconceivable that this was possible. That was white privilege, right? We hear about that a lot now, but that's white privilege in action. That's an example of it, right? And I had to look at that 
And that was one of the reasons we, Kim and I didn't talk while I was putting the website together because I, the petition on the website, I could not face her. I couldn't face her. She's one of my closest friends in this community and I could not, I was like, I can't face her.